What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another comic book sale video. This is gonna be number five, and this is gonna be the last one before I announce what my total sales were so far and announce a new lot that I recently did purchase, but that's gonna be in another video today. It's just gonna be about my recent comic book sales from the first lots that I did purchase back in 2021. So we're just going to dive right into it. Up first, we have 50 Marvel comic books. That is part of my mystery boxes. That sold for $80, which I tend to lower my prices little by little to get a lot of things sold. So for my mystery boxes, with the new lot of 4,000 comics that I did purchase, I am likely not going to be doing that many mystery boxes until the end and see what's left over. For now, it's gonna be different lots and selling individually, so. This one here is gonna be probably one of the last mystery boxes I do sell. There is a couple more in this video I'm gonna be mentioning, but that is great profit, 50 comics for $80. Next up is gonna be 67 Avengers comics. This person here did message me. I think I had it listed a little bit higher than this, but they sent me an offer of $100 and I took it. They told me they were purchasing it, not for them, but they were purchasing it to give to a friend who is a huge fan of Avengers, so I love whenever people do that, buy things and give them to people as gifts, and it's just amazing. So keeping the comic collecting alive, they're a fan of Avengers, so their friend bought them something for a birthday gift, so that's pretty cool. Next is going to be X-Men Volume 2, Issue 1 to 12. This one here, I realized immediately after I listed it, I probably could have got a lot more money for it, but I already had somebody that was interested, somebody was already gonna be sending me an e-transfer, I'm already committed to that buyer, and I wasn't going to decline them and then raise my prices a little bit higher. Now I did sell it for $45, which to me seemed fair but I had a lot of people messaging for these right after they sold. This one here, I believe, had to be shipped to Montreal, and I'll get to that in a second, talking more about selling in Montreal and Quebec in general. But these ones here, I had a ton of people messaging me, a ton of people wanted them, and then after I told people they sold, people told me they were worth a lot more than what I sold them for. I didn't know, I guess I didn't do my research, I just sold them at what I thought was a fair price, and they sold fairly quick. Now, talking about Montreal and selling in Quebec in general, I'm no longer gonna be selling as much as I once was in Quebec and Montreal. There was one page called uh, Comic Books Montreal or something along those lines that I was posting in since I bought my first lots and started reselling comics, and I've had great success. I've had a lot of people, about, I'd say 25% of my sales was coming from Quebec and the Montreal area, and shipping was no problem. I charged fair prices for shipping, fair prices for my comics, and everybody that I dealt with was happy, but the admin made the page more strict, and you have to live in Quebec to be able to sell on the page, which I live in Ottawa, so that is Ontario, so they wouldn't allow me to post anymore, which to me, sunks. I don't understand it. They said it was a lot more Ontario people flooding the group, but whenever I went on, it's a lot more people selling crappy comics that are flooding the group, not necessarily somebody that's honest from Ontario, but regardless, most of my sales now are staying in Ontario or out west, Alberta and Vancouver. That's where a lot of my sales do come from as well. So we did sell those ones. Again, I probably could have got more, but $45 for 12 comics, I thought was a great deal. And obviously I guess they got a great deal as well. Next is gonna be six Wolverine comics. These ones here sold for $20, which I thought was a fair price, and I was glad to see them gone. In the new lots I did buy, there is a lot more Wolverine, so I will have to go through and sort and list those as well, but a lot more great ones to be sold there. Next is gonna be 14 Aquaman and nine Flash comics. That sold for $50, which I thought was a great deal. They're more of the newer ones, I think, if I had to guess, 2010 and up. Somebody just wanted them. I ended up selling them for what I thought was overpriced, but to them they had a great deal and that's what they offered me, so that's what I sold them for. Next is going to be 50, uh, another 50 comic book mystery box. This one sold for $80. This one here had a lot of 
Marvel and DC, which is pretty much what I have left of my first lots, but it did have about 10 image comics as well, which they did request. So that was great to see that sold. Next is a 50 comic book mystery box that sold on eBay, because I do have those listed on eBay as well. With the eBay fees and shipping reduced, that equals out to be $66 which is what I earned from these ones. So a little bit less than selling them locally because locally it's just cash or e-transfers. But selling on eBay, I do have the eBay fees, I do have the shipping, and I do have the fees on top of the shipping. So it's a little bit more of a struggle, of course, but that was still a great deal. That one had a lot more of the lower end Marvel in it, but some pretty decent ones. X-Men issue number one for volume two, which I did have a couple doubles of and a few other great ones as well. So the value was there for them, but it was a little bit less because it sold on eBay. Next is a 25 comic book mystery box that sold for $40. This one here is a pretty decent box. Originally, they wanted a 50 comic book box. I waited about two, two and a half weeks since they messaged last. So I decided to send a lot of people after a couple weeks. If somebody was interested, I'll send them a message. Some people just forget, just confirming if they're still interested. They said they were, but they only wanted 25 comics. So I told them the price for that was $40 and they did come and take those ones from me. Next is one that I did sell on eBay and it did pretty good. It was a single comic and that is Pit Hulk number one, which sold for $10, which to me was great. I honestly didn't think it was going to ever sell. It was listed for quite some time. I was going to reduce it and list it locally for about $5 to see if there was any interest locally. But even after fees and shipping, I still got $10 profit for this item and I only paid 40 cents for this book. So to me, that was great. Next is going to be five She-Hulk comics, which again, these ones here is another case of, I probably should have listed them for a little bit more or did my research and seen what they were worth. These five comics, She-Hulk comics, I sold them for $20. And this person from out of the province messaged me. I think he was from Alberta, if I remember correctly, and he wanted them shipped. So he paid for the shipping plus the $20 and then I had a bunch of people message me after I already got the e-transfer and I already listed it as sold. I still had people messaging me and I just had to tell everybody it was sold. And then others told me that they were probably worth a little bit more than what I sold them for. But regardless, I did make a great sale. That's all profit to me. So I thought that was awesome. Next up is going to be Bishop Comics. I think this was issue one to 14, and I think it was just missing one somewhere in the middle. These ones sold for $25, which I thought was a great deal. They obviously were a collector of Bishop and other X-Men characters, so that was awesome to see those finally sell. Those were from, I think, the first lot that I did purchase to resell. So finally, those are gone. And the last one here, uh, there's other ones, uh, on this video, but this is the last mystery box that I did sell. It's another 50 comic book mystery box. And at this time, this is when I started to reduce my prices. So for the 50 comic book mystery box, which is mostly all Marvel and a few DC, sold for $70. I think I'm gonna reduce my prices once again to around $60 to see if I can get some more sales of the last comics I have, just to kind of liquidate them a little bit more. But it is awesome to see people are still interested in my mystery boxes. And I even had somebody that I bought from, or somebody, somebody that sold, somebody that bought from me in the past mystery boxes, and they asked if I was getting out of it because they wanted to get some more in the future. And I said, no, I still have mystery boxes for now, just not a lot of comics left for mystery boxes. So if you want some, get them while I have the comics for them because what I have left now is gonna be sold separately, not in mystery boxes, at least not until the end. So I did sell those there. Then we do have, this is from the new lots, which I wasn't gonna include this video, but why not? Uh, 32 Punisher comics sold for $90, which to me, was amazing. Now, I did have about 60 Punisher comics and I did list them for a lot higher, but I had somebody, the only person that messaged for them, said they only needed a few, so they picked out the 32 they needed. Usually I don't do that, but since it was a $90 sale and they were committed to buying them, I decided to split up my lots and I do have to relist it, but to me that was a great sale. So for 32 comics, $90, which is roughly $3 a piece, which is where I want to be. And then we also have 40 Daredevil comics that I did sell. This person here at first, I thought they were just a collector or something. 
Then they said they also liked Spider-Man, so I told them I do have Spider-Man as well, shared them the listing. At first, I only mentioned that I had Daredevil. We agreed on the price of $140. Then, whenever they asked about Spider-Man, I did tell them how many Spider-Man I had, that I was asking a little bit more for them, and I told them the price. Then they said they just wanted the Daredevil, and it turns out to be for his kid, who just likes to draw the comics. So, fingers crossed that he's not opening up the books, putting a page down and drawing and tracing them. That would be brutal, but he wanted them at that price. I'm gonna sell them because that's what they were worth. It equaled out to be roughly $3 each, something like that. And I thought to me, that was a great price for these books, even though it's not going to a collector or anything at that. To me, if he would have asked me for a mystery box, that would have been more appropriate for if you're just gonna be drawing them, but he wanted Daredevil, so I ended up selling them to him. So these are all of the recent comic book sales that I did do, and this is gonna be the last comic book sales video that I'm gonna be doing for a while. Only reason I'm doing that is because the next video I'm gonna be talking about sales is gonna be the total of the first three comic book locks that I did purchase. I'm gonna be talking about how many comics in total I did sell, possibly some of the great comics that were inside, some of the more valuable comics, and also talking about what my total profit was for the first three lots, and talk more in depth of the new comics that I did purchase and what is inside. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy this kind of series I do on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.